Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Top Secret R35 and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newly released Karen Sultan RS Classic, also known as a 1998 Subaru Impreza WRX STI 22B. So this car is super expensive at 1.789 million if you haven't unlocked the trade price. However, I've heard that it's a time attack monster and it's flipping fast. So we're going to check if this is a lie or not. So when the Sultan Classic came out, I made a video about it and I tried to make it look like a 22B. Now I was foolish in doing that because the 22B was never a four-door where the Sultan Classic is a four-door. So this was built by Subaru to commemorate both Subaru's 40th anniversary as well as the third consecutive manufacturer's title for Subaru in the FIA World Rally Championship. So one lovely piece of information that I did learn from Wikipedia is that the B is actually a Subaru internal code for turbo and 22B is actually a hexadecimal for the number 555 in reference to State Express 555, Subaru's major sponsor in the WRC from 93 to 2000. So with all those lovely facts aside, let's get down to the tuner shop and I've got a flip an epic build waiting, or at least I think I do. I'm going to do the sacrilegious thing and ignore what this car is actually supposed to be and make it into a stance nation special. You know, the thing that you see in like the warehouses that they have all those stance events at and things like that, the music videos and stuff, it's going to be sick. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So we'll start with the non-negotiables first. Armor upgrade 100%, Brembo brakes. Max engine, built transmission, upgraded turbo, and now we'll get to the more entertaining things starting with the front bumper. So the most fitting one for this theme is definitely the street bumper. You see a nice huge intercooler and it still looks neat. And then sadly with the rear bumper you do get the option for dual exhausts, however there is no dual exhausts, can you believe it? So I think the nicest is the street bumper, I'm gonna do that. And again with this update some very expensive valve cover options but I'm a sucker for carbon let's do it and these blue pulleys beautiful triangulated strut brace for maximum chassis reinforcement so I'm kind of stuck between the chrome big bore exhaust and the chrome performance exhaust oh man I don't know I'll just go with the big bore this doesn't make a huge difference but why not let's add on a carbon housing around the front headlights and this GT hood is just the right amount of sick so definitely going to go with the padded full roll cage. You see these Stance Nation cars are very confusing. They always look like they're full on time attack, but then they're also like one inch from the ground. So let's do it. So just to add to the hardcoreness, definitely going to go with the carbon fiber roof. And then the most important thing probably for the aggressive look is going to be this Karen Extreme Wing MK3. This looks flippin' nice. I love the carbon fiber insert there. Oh yeah. Well guys, there you have it. I was quiet for a while there, debating color choice versus wheels, but I think I nailed it on the head here. I got the normal Torino red with the gold wheels with the tire lettering. Oh my goodness, this is perfect Stance Nation time attack style Subaru 22B. I absolutely love it. Goodness, this is gonna make for a nice thumbnail. I wish I could actually remove the hood, you know, that would make it even more hardcore when you flip and enter that arena. It was like, whoa, check the Subi, man. All right, guys, I'm on the warm up lap. I did a couple of laps without the time trial active just to check how the car feels, and oh my goodness. Without a doubt, this is the most planted, most feedback car of this update, I'd say. You can actually tell the inputs, doesn't understeer that much for an all-wheel drive car, and it just feels absolutely amazing. So without getting too excited, I'm going to the start now. This is it, this is gonna be it, there's no backing out. Let's see if I can maybe, maybe, maybe smash this lap record that I set with, I think the Dominator, I'm not even sure, in my first attempt. I don't want to be too arrogant about it. I don't want to be too confident about it. I don't want to be too uh, too subtle either. I need to take this on properly. And hopefully, hopefully I can smash that 58 seconds in. But 58.3 something, something, something. I don't know. But anyway, those puddles, watch out for them. Those can cause the car to really slip out. So you got to be very cautious also. That you don't go into a power slide. Because that wastes a lot of time. I use a lot of trail braking, I feel that helps. Going into the corner and sometimes when you're leaving as well, like right about there I should have done it maybe. But for the most part, this thing is solid, absolutely solid, really really solid. Alright, I've got like 5 seconds here, 3, 2, 1, oh my goodness that was so close! Oh, 
There we go. Alright, that was about my fourth try. I guess I was a bit uh, hopeful to get that on my first try, but damn. Yep, this car is certified beast. So I feel really good about breaking that lap down. So the last thing I want to do is grab a sick thumbnail. So I have a kind of idea here. I think this might actually work. I'm going to try to get that Stance Nation style photo. So I'm going to open up this hood. I'm going to get out the trusty up anatomizer and say goodbye to it. <laughs> oh, sick. It worked. All right, get out of here, hood. Oh, goodness. Well, thankfully, it didn't damage my car from that angle. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Well again guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are old to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button, it helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.